Louvoir is a multi-wavelength space observatory with lofty scientific goals. This mission would enable significant advances in a wide range of science, from galaxy formation to evolution and star and planet formation. Louvoir aims to characterize a wide range of exoplanets, including those that could be habitable. Stay tuned for more information on Louvoir. Brief Introduction The Large Ultraviolet Optical Infrared Surveyor, Louvoir, is a multi-wavelength space telescope concept developed by NASA under the direction of a science and technology definition team. While Louvoir is a general-purpose observatory concept, its primary scientific goal is to characterize many exoplanets, including those that could be habitable. Another goal is to enable a wide range of astrophysics, from the reionization epoch to galaxy formation and evolution, and finally, to star and planet formation. It would also be possible to conduct powerful imaging and spectroscopy observations of solar system bodies. Louvoir will be a large strategic science mission. Louvoir was started in 2020. The Louvoir study team created designs for two Louvoir variants, one with a 15.1 meter diameter telescope mirror, Louvoir A, and one with an 8 meter diameter mirror, Louvoir B. Louvoir would be able to detect light wavelengths in the ultraviolet, visible, and near infrared ranges. Background NASA began investigating four different space telescope concepts for future large strategic science missions in 2016. The missions include Lynx X-ray Observatory, Lynx, Origin Space Telescope, Large Ultraviolet Optical Infrared Surveyor, Louvoir, and Habitable Exoplanet Imaging Mission, HABEX. The final results from the four teams were submitted to the National Academy of Sciences in 2019, whose independent decadal survey committee advises NASA on which mission should take precedence. In 2039, Louvoir would be put into orbit around the Sun-Earth Langrage 2 point using a large launch vehicle. The primary goals of Louvoir are to investigate exoplanets, cosmic origins, and the solar system. Louvoir could study the structure and composition of exoplanet atmospheres and surfaces. It could also detect biosignatures emitted by life on distant exoplanets' atmospheres. Carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, molecular oxygen, ozone, water, and methane are the atmospheric biosignatures of interest. The multi-wavelength capability of Louvoir would also provide vital information for understanding how UV radiation from a host star regulates the atmospheric photochemistry on habitable planets. Louvoir will also observe many exoplanets with various characteristics – mass, host star type, age, etc. – to situate the solar system within a larger context of planetary systems. Louvoir A will identify and study 54 potentially habitable exoplanets during its five-year primary mission, while Louvoir B is expected to identify 28. Astrophysics research that can be done with the aid of Louvoir includes investigations of cosmic structure in the great reaches of space and time, the origin and evolution of galaxies, and the birth of stars and planetary systems. Louvoir can provide up to 25 kilometers imaging resolution in visible light at Jupiter, allowing detailed monitoring of atmospheric dynamics in Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune over long timescales. Sensitive high-resolution imaging and spectroscopy of solar system comets, asteroids, moons, and Kuiper Belt objects that will not be visited by spacecraft shortly can provide crucial information about the processes that formed the solar system eons ago. Furthermore, Louvoir plays a vital role in studying plumes from the outer solar system's ocean moons, particularly Europa and Enceladus, over long timescales. Design Louvoir would be outfitted with an internal coronagraph instrument called Eclipse, extreme coronagraph for living planetary systems, to enable direct observation of Earth-like exoplanets. For the smaller Louvoir design, an external star shade is also available, Louvoir B. High Definition Imager, HDI, a wide field near UV, optical, and near-infrared camera, LUMOS, a Louvoir ultraviolet multi-object spectrograph, and Pollux, an ultraviolet spectropolarimeter, are among the other candidate science instruments under consideration. Pollux, high-resolution UV spectropolarimeter, is being researched by a European consortium led by the CNES in France. The observatory can detect light wavelength ranging from far ultraviolet to near-infrared, the Louvoir design incorporates three principles to achieve the extreme wavefront stability required for coronagraphic observation of Earth-like exoplanets. First, vibrations and mechanical disturbances are reduced throughout the observatory. Second, 
The telescope and coronagraph use active optics to control several layers of wavefronts. Third, the telescope is heated to precisely 270 degrees Kelvin, 3 degrees Celsius, 26 degrees Fahrenheit, to prevent thermal disturbances. NASA's Astrophysics Strategic Mission Concept Studies Program, the Goddard Space Flight Center, the Marshall Space Flight Center, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, and related programs at Northrop Grumman Aerospace Systems and Ball Aerospace are all contributing to the Louvoir Technology Development Plan. Louvoir A. Louvoir A, formerly known as the High Definition Space Telescope, or HDST, would comprise 36 mirror segments with a 15.1 meter or 50 foot diameter aperture, providing images up to 24 times sharper than the Hubble Space Telescope. Louvoir A would be large enough to discover and investigate the dozens of Earth-like planets in our neighborhood. It could resolve objects such as a small galaxy's nucleus or a gas cloud on its way to collapsing into a star and planets. On July 6, 2015, the Association of Universities for Research in Astronomy, or ORA, published its first HDST study. The case for HDST was made in a report for the future of astronomy commissioned by ORA, which operates the Hubble Space Telescope and other observatories on behalf of NASA and the National Science Foundation. An internal coronagraph, a disk that blocks light from the center star, making a dim planet more visible, and a star shade that would float kilometers in front of it to perform the same function were all proposed for the original HDST proposal. Because the Louvoir A folds, it only requires an 8-meter wide payload fairing. The initial cost is estimated to be around $10 billion, with lifetime costs ranging from $18 billion to $24 billion. Louvoir B. The Space Telescope Science Institute, which also acts as the Science Operations Center for the Hubble Space Telescope, or HST, and the James Webb Space Telescope, constructed the 8-meter Louvoir B, formerly known as the Advanced Technology Large Aperture Space Telescope, or at last. While smaller than Louvoir A, it is expected to have an angular resolution 5 to 10 times greater than JWST and a sensitivity limit up to 2,000 times greater than HST. The Louvoir study team anticipates that the telescope, like the HST, will be able to be serviced either by an uncrewed spacecraft or by astronauts via Orion or Starship. Cameras, for example, could potentially be replaced and returned to Earth for component analysis and future upgrades. The initial backronym for the mission concept, at last, was a pun on the time it took to decide on a successor for HST. An 8.2 meter long monolithic mirror telescope, a 16 meter long segmented mirror telescope, and a 9.2 meter long segmented mirror telescope were the three possible architectures that at last suggested. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, design legacy was the foundation for the current Louvar B architecture. With a segmented primary mirror of 6.5 meters, it is effectively a larger version of the JWST. Running on solar power, it can characterize the atmosphere and surface of an Earth-sized exoplanet in the habitable zone of long-lived stars at distances of up to 140 light-years, or 43 parsecs, including its rotation rate, climate, and habitability. The telescope would also allow researchers to learn about the nature of the dominant surface features, changes in cloud cover and climate, and seasonal variations in surface vegetation. Louvoir B was designed to be launched on a heavy lift rocket with a 5 meter or 16 foot diameter launch fairing. Estimated lifetime costs range from $12 billion to $18 billion. Want to learn more about space exploration? Our other post on Test Telescope Found New Planets Better Than Earth has a lot to share on the Test Telescope and its powerful capabilities in space observation and exploration. Kindly check it out. Thank you for spending another time with us. We will see you next time.